Can a man correct his Muslim women colleagues on their appearance and their on for following pro proper ruling of Islam? For example, a man corrects a woman that her lipstick is too much. Mashallah. My sister, what was he doing looking at that lipstick? Mashallah. <laughs> Uh, the reality is, if politely he reminds a Muslim sister, I don't think to say your lipstick is too much is actually respectful. To be honest with you, if I saw a sister, you know, full makeup and whatever, the first thing I would do, inshallah, inshallah, I hope Allah strengthens me to just look down, you know. And uh, I'm being as realistic as possible, my brothers, you know, I'm trying to word it respectfully. Don't think that I'm a person who's not a human being. I'm just like you. So inshallah, I try my best to look down and I wouldn't embarrass that sister in that, in that condition. Not at all. It's the wrong time and place. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> you know, Wallahi, what are you doing? You know, the woman will start hating religious people. What are these guys all about? No way. You get an opportunity, you find the right moment, you show them that you care for them as a Muslim sister. And she's not just an object. And slowly but surely, Wallahi, sometimes without speaking, it will start improving itself because they will realize that, hey, you know what, hang on. I am not created by Allah to attract the opposite sex. And to be honest, I've spoken to non-Muslim women sometimes when the opportunity has arisen. And a lot of them feel, no, it's, it's, I feel good when all the men look at me. I get angry when a man don't look at me, man. You know, it happened to me once, we were in an airport in one of the European countries and I walked away, I walked past and there was this woman who was literally dressed to kill, you know. And subhanallah, by the help of Allah, and I'm, I'm relating it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we are human beings, I didn't even look, it didn't even tickle me. And she actually came up to me a little while later and say, why didn't you look? And I'm like, Astaghfirullah, now you want me to look basically, you know. <laughs> And I said, no, sister, I respect you so much that I'd, I'd appreciate, you know, and so on. And this has happened to me not a long time ago. And it's happened to other scholars in the past. And I've mentioned this in some of my, my, my lectures as well. So I think to correct a sister, there is a way, you know, a respectful way, a dignified way. But it is a duty to do something about it. You know, when you see something bad, you have to correct it. So when you correct it, you correct it on different levels. But you are never harsh. The Prophet ﷺ was told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ It is because of the mercy of Allah that you are lenient towards them. Had you been harsh and hard-hearted towards them, they would have dispersed. Wallahi, the same rule applies. You see a Muslim and every one of us, myself included, we need correction. Imagine if someone comes to you and just starts telling you things and you know you're an idiot and you're useless and what you said and what you did and how you operate. You won't appreciate it because that's the nature of man. But if you want to correct someone, brother, mashallah, tabarakallah, you know, so on. And if it's a sister, you don't need to get into all that detail. But at least you need to show concern. Uh, sometimes when Muslims have Muslim colleagues who are of the opposite sex, they prefer to talk to non-Muslims than their own Muslims, you know. And this is something that beats me. I don't understand what's the logic behind it. I'm not saying you shouldn't be communicating with any of your colleagues, Muslim or non-Muslim, but I'm saying the poor sister is firstly a Muslim. Perhaps she looks up to you. I know of Muslim sisters who've been motivated at workplace just because their male colleagues never miss a salah. And the sister says, I had a male colleague who never ever missed his salah. And I was so embarrassed because I just used to sit through the lunch and do nothing. And then I started, I said to myself, if he does it, let me do it. And there was no communication. It was just looking. So this is why we say, subhanallah, there is a way of doing things. So uh, it is a duty of anyone, either one, to correct the other. But with respect and with, with wisdom. You know, we heard the verse beautifully recited earlier on. Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah. When you are calling towards the path of Allah, call with wisdom. Don't call with, uh, uh, you know, th the first thing that comes to your head. Sit, think about it, make dua to Allah about it, ask Allah's guidance about it. Then do something. You might want to send a beautiful email. And you know, when you send an email, there's a way of doing things. Because if you just send an email to the same sister who's working with you and say, Sister, uh, like the sister just said, you, 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 wear, you wear too much lipstick at, at work and that is haram as it is lipstick is red and the color of Jahannam is also red. <laughs> Come 
come on, come on. There's a way of talking. So you say, sister, mashallah, may Allah strengthen you, may Allah help you, may Allah bless you and your loved ones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you goodness and greatness. I've got so many weaknesses of my own. Please highlight them if you see them. Please do not feel bad that I'm highlighting to you something minor that I believe, you know, it was, if it wasn't my duty as a Muslim, I wouldn't even have bothered. But I felt very, very slightly that I should perhaps let you know. And as I say, before I let you know, if there's anything that you see in me that needs attention, please let me know. And the, the point that I wanted to raise was, you know, perhaps if you'd like to consider uh, or, or reconsider the way you wear your makeup. Allahu Akbar, I'm trying to word it carefully. This is just an example based on what the sister is saying. Or it is much more palatable. A person will take it, they'd say, Jazakumullah khair, I appreciate, make dua for me, I thank you, because of how you said it. This goes back to the way you talk. May Allah grant us goodness and wisdom, but it is our duty to correct one another. Wallahu a'lam.